Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. We're back with the Phillies team today, and we have enough Black Diamond pieces to take. I believe we're going to take Kyle Schwarber Black Diamond today, because ideally, I'd like to get him a Legend set sooner rather than later, and be able to swap him in over Babe Ruth. Um, another thing that I've done that... I wanted to show you is that obviously we, we've put Schmidt in at third base for trying him out here. I will eventually retrain him. I wanted to get him up over 120 field. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to make that happen and keep his batting stats relatively where I want them to be. Um, but once I've sort of sorted that out, we will retrain him to get him up over 120 field. Um, and... We've sort of rearranged our batting lineup a little bit, but one of the things we've done is we put Howard on the bench because Pioneer Slugger spot was awful. It was terrible on him. I, I don't know why. He wasn't hitting home runs, and obviously with that set, he wasn't getting on base or hitting for average. So I needed to do something. I'm keeping the set, obviously. I just need to rearrange it. So I decided to roll greens on him until we got either Charisma or Bail It Up because with those two, either of those two skills... I know that they pair well with Pioneer, and then that way, in the third slot, we can roll Slugger, Spotlight, whichever of Charisma or Barrel It Up we don't roll, and I know that that set will work better than just Slug, Spot, together. So, we rolled greens on him, and we were able to roll him Barrel It Up, which is awesome. Uh, training him for Barrel It Up won't be easy, but it is certainly possible without totally nerfing his batting stats. However, I'm going to wait until... We roll a gold skill over full swing, so we're going to need some more blues to do that. Um, whenever we do get that good third skill, we'll retrain him for barrel it up. And in all likelihood, he will go over, uh, go into the lineup over Michael Franco, who will move to the bench. Um, so that's that right now. Um, I've been throwing a handful of um, premiums at Trevor Hoffman, but we haven't landed anything yet. However... We have two more premiums right now, which if we use them today, will get us a Legend skill change ticket, which we can then use on Hoffman, assuming either of those two premiums doesn't hit, which I kind of doubt they will. Although part of me is also tempted to use the Legend skill change ticket on Schwarber and just see and hope. So we'll see how I'm feeling when we get to that point in the video. But first and foremost, we are going to... Take Kyle Schwarber Black Diamond, we'll open some packs, we'll special train him, and we'll go from there. Alright, so first and foremost, Schwarber will be going Black Diamond today. And, yeah, we don't have any other pitchers we need to work on. Obviously, Hoffman's already Black Diamond. Don't have any batters that we need to work on either, other than, I mean, Hoskins on the bench here, but we're not using him at the moment, but we do have Schwarber, and again, I'd like to get him into my starting lineup at some point in the near future. So, let's take Kyle Schwarber Black Diamond. He's an incredible, incredible card, and once we get him uh, fully special trained, he will certainly show it. Nice, gorgeous, gorgeous card. That's where his speed and field will sit permanently, would be actually pretty good for a corner outfield spot. And given he is a 10 to the right side train, I'm not touching that. And pretty soon we'll have his batting stats capped out as well. And again, I'm almost certainly just going to be able to do it with... We'll use up the players that we have, but um, with just all the material that we have... Um, without needing to open packs. So what we'll do is we'll open those packs and... I'll see what we want to do. Maybe we do combos. Maybe I just, um, you know, get rid of them on my own time. Whichever works doesn't really make a huge difference, but it's all right either way. Uh, so fun story. Um, I don't know if you you all saw. Um, I don't know when it will come out relative to this video, but. Michael Lorenzen, who the Phillies traded for at the trade deadline, threw a no-hitter for the Phillies in his second start, his first start at the bank. And uh, fun fact, I was at that game. 
which was absolutely one of the most incredible things that I've ever had the pleasure to experience. It was truly, really just an incredible experience. So Ruth's in up condition right now when he's not. He has six less power, the same contact, and 13 less eye. <laughs> Basically the same speed and way less field. So I think you can see from that comp why I would want to get Schwarber in the lineup. I mean, just his base stats alone are pretty crazy. Um, and if not, if you know, until we get him those skills to get him in the lineup, um, he'll just be a better bench bat because he and Kutcher right now are the only two pinch hitters that actually pinch hit for me as they both pinch hit for Ruth um, or one or the other, you know, whichever the situation is. So. Um, we, again, did not get through all our special train material, so that's all right. Let us use these two premium skill change tickets. On Trevor Hoffman, we'll use the regulars on Hoffman. We did roll this tr uh, slow starter set in our own time, but again, slow starter doesn't really work on a relief pitcher. Finn win streak touch. That's better than what he had before, but it's not going to be my closer set, so. Alright, so nothing there. We do get the Legend skill change ticket. And I am totally torn right now on who I want to use this on, Schwarber or Hoffman. Um, the reason I would use it on Schwarber is that Blake Parker... I'm not going to use it, but with the co-op fin setup, man, he has like an average of like a four and a half ERA in middle relief, which is not bad at all. Um, so like, I, I feel like I'm in the boat with this card now where like I could afford to, um, to leave him in a little bit longer, whereas I'd like to get Schwarber into the lineup if I can. Um... So, I don't know. Right now, this is I'm leaning towards just using it on Schwarber. Because, again, the chance that we actually pull a set that we can use that's high levels is very, very low. And I feel like there's a higher chance we could pull a potentially usable set on Schwarber than there is on Hoffman. Because on Hoffman, we're really looking for Fireballer, Bullpen Day, or Control Master. Nothing else would really work I don't think maybe pitchers insight but I don't have much experience with it so until we get stronger data on whether or not it works in the bullpen I don't really want to risk it whereas with Schwarber there are a few different potential options so I think that's the way I'm gonna go with the expectation that we're not gonna pull anything either way right so we'll use it on Schwarber here and uh, hopefully we can get a set we can start working on on him Pioneer 322. All right, that works. Um, that would be a third skill level of four. So that, that could potentially work really well. So we've got some greens. We'll change the other two skills. See if we can pull two skills together would be the only way he would get in the lineup right now. But um, it would probably need to be two really good gold skills. And right now we haven't seen any gold skills, so... Um, there's our first gold skill batting machine on its own. Isn't going to work. So two more shots here and we're basically seeing all bronzes. A spec and laser beam. What a freaking troll. That's awful. Oh man. We finally got two golds and it was literally a specialist in laser beam. The two worst possible gold skills. So we saw out of six greens, we saw batting machine once, and that was the best gold skill we saw today. So um, there's a set to work on for Schwarber now. So we have somewhere for greens to go. We have somewhere for blues to go with Howard. And all premiums going forward will continue to go into um, Trevor Hoffman now that we have a set for Schwarber to work on. Uh, with that being said, let's hop into packs. Alrighty, so, you know, outside of seeing a new Prime or a Legend, there's really not a ton from Silver Packs that we would particularly be looking for, but that's okay. Um, me and my clubmates have been doing some analysis of the Power Ranking Tournament that by this time will have been over right now. 
uh, at the time I'm recording this, it's the final four. And um, one of the interesting things, one of the interesting takeaways is that uh, going into it, so the top nine of the top 96 teams, the top 96 that made the tournament in the first place, uh, I want to say it was 53 of them had legends at third base and only 37 had SIGs. And I think there were a couple primes, a couple Supremes. Of the teams that made it to the final four, not a single one had a legend at third base. And of the top eight, only two had a legend. The rest were all six. In other words, and it, it, I, I tracked all this data. Um, so it, I, I made a chart out of it, you know, was taking a look. You can see as the rounds go on, far, far more teams that run legends at third base got eliminated each round. And the teams that held the strongest had SIGs at third base. Um, so it's, to me, that's just really interesting. Um, and I think a big reflection on how important fielding actually is at third base. Um, let me go figure out my uh, backup space and I'll be back. So, yeah, um, that's why, that's one of the reasons I want to retrain Schmidt to get him over 120 field. Um, just the data backs up that shortstop needs to have high fielding. The lowest fielding shortstop in the top eight had 126 field. And that was on a legend. Everyone else who had a SIG had higher fielding than even that. There's a gold prime. Lance Lynn. That might be the first time we've pulled him on this team. Um, but it's cool to pull a prime there. Anyway, um, shortstop, second base, catcher. Uh, you know, second base and third base appear to be between 120 and 130 field. Uh, shortstop appears to be over 130 field and catcher appears to be like 130 to 140 field appears to be the sweet spot to train all of them, which is a little higher than most people expect. But that appears to be the data just at face value from the current power ranking tournament. Um, so, you know, take that as you will. Uh, I know it sucks for a lot of people who have legends. Personally, I think it's a good thing. I am getting sick of seeing teams that are entirely legends because it sort of defeats the purpose of even having a home team at that point. Like why even be a Yankees team if you're not going to use Yankees cards, if you're only going to use legends. I, I've, I've always had a problem with that. Um, I mean, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that my ultimate end goal would be to get such great sets on all my team SIGs that I can get rid of Legends altogether. I would rather run a pure Phillies deck, if I can. I mean, I'd love to pull uh, Pete Alexander so that I can run a pure Phillies deck and still have a Legend. That would be... That would be ideal, I think. But um, since the chance of that is likely not going to happen you know we do what we can in the meanwhile so yeah i mean i know some people will be upset by that by just how seeing how much legends have dropped off but personally i don't think it's a bad thing in the slightest um so you know i i, I just wanted to share that little bit of info that i that i could with y'all um you know, what insight I can bring to the results of the power ranking tournaments so far. Um, I, I, you know, it's tough because there's, I know there are certain teams like the Phillies who we don't have any good, we don't have any SIG, uh, SIG shortstops really, or SIG third baseman, which is what I meant to say with good fielding. We don't. Mike Schmidt is the best, one of the best fielding third basemen ever, and they added his sig, and he has fifty base field. So that's why I, I mean, that's, I'm, that's why I'm happy I have Supreme Schmidt because it would be almost impossible to get 120 field on Schmidt's sig. Um, so you know, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm, it, it sucks. It sucks for sure. A lot of people rely on legends, especially at positions like third base. Um, and it sucks to hear that all of a sudden that, you know, your team would have to be perfect 
um, in order to run a legend at third base and succeed all the way to the top in the power ranking tournament. Like that sucks. You know, nobody wants to hear that. I get that, but, um, you know, that is just sort of a reality of where the game is right now. Um, so, you know, I mean, again, for clarification, 53 teams. So over half of the teams that made the power ranking tournament had legends at third base, but of the ones that did, almost none of them made it to even the top, you know, top 16, let alone anything beyond that. All right. So nothing from these player selected packs. That's okay. Um, so yeah, uh, I've got some retrains that I'm planning on doing in the future, but I'm waiting to, you know, do a little more analysis of, of trains in the power ranking tournament and what does and doesn't work to do that. I don't want to, for example, train DD down to say, you know, 125 fielding when in reality, I really need to leave him at 126 where he is or to even get him higher. The only way to get him higher field would be to change the special train order. Ooh, diamond vintage. Nice. Um, would be to change the special train order on that card. Uh, so I'm hesitant to do it because it would nerf his batting stats pretty good. Um, at least until I have a, a batter that I can sort of use in that spot in the lineup. You know, if I can shift DD down in the lineup, then I don't mind doing that. But until we get a good enough skill set on someone else where we feel comfortable doing that, I am going to hold off. Uh, let me clear out the inventory and I will come back. And I think we have a couple vintage combos we can do. Alrighty. So we'll just have this single vintage combo, but again, fingers crossed we pull Pete Alexander. Nope. Um, so the hunt continues for, uh, old Pete, but that's all right. All right. So, um, even though we were unable to roll uh, anything with greens or blue on, on Schwarber today, we've got these um, hold on these two awful gold skills. I, in the future, rolled a green on him, and we were able to land barrel it up. And uh, so now we're going to use the blue from the uh, Black Diamond shop, and let's see if we can get him Pioneer, barrel it up, and maybe slug, maybe spot? No. But it's five tool, which is a good skill, but I'm not sure his stats are high enough to maximize the skill, but we've got a diamond sig here now, too, so that's pretty awesome. Freeman, that's not a great year for him. And David Bednar, he's a really good closer for the Pirates, but it's a kind of mediocre sig, which is a little bit disappointing, at least for Pirates decks. But um, five tool, barrel it up, and Pio on Schwarber should be pretty good, I would think. Um, we'll level that up, and we'll put him in lineup over Ruth and see how he does for the next couple weeks. Uh, but with that being said, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.